You know what I mean? Like right. just, I, I live the life and and I earned it. You know what I mean? Like, if you're I this learned... deep into the podcast, congratulations! Yes. I, congratulations I haven't even pulled the can open yet. I barely opened. Like, I yet. know things. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the guy whose job it is to make you fall in love with me in three seconds and then yes. sell you a two dollar stuffed animal $2 for forty for bucks or twenty, and, and then you $20. walk away after shaking my hand with a and huge smile you on your face. All right, this is Nomad Damon with Travel and Sounds from the Blueberry Lounge. Welcome back to uh, part two with the Illuminati OG, a.k.a. Touchy the Clown. <laughs> Enjoy a little recap, episode one. Who is Touchy the Clown? If you missed it, be sure to swing back and check it out after this episode. You won't believe it. You won't even understand it. Yeah. But most of all, you won't be able to put it down. You won't. According to Google yeah. Books, Touchy Goes to Hollywood is the epic of Touchy the Clown and his adventures in Hollywood and how he used television to brainwash the world. Hey, Google. Show me Touchy Goes to Washington. Here's what I found on the web. According to Google Books, Uncle Touchy the pedophile serial killer clown pranks his way into the White House. <laughs> the job nobody wants, setting up the stuffed animals, and me hiding like <laughs> shit like this in the background of Hollywood productions for the last decade. You want to see porno like some kind of fucking, you know, fight club, like you, didn't have you know. In your mouth. <laughs> I know, I'm so glad. I yes, that. no, I'm I've heard right of this because yes, and I've seen because, <laughs> because I've like been at, because I was on King, I was on I was KC. Like, was I was well, Walt Disney was my uncle. Yeah. Walt Disney was my mom's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> so my mom's dad's brother was Walt Disney. Right. So my mom sat on Walt Disney's lap. Part two. Part two. <laughs> Behind the paywall with Touchy the Clown. Go to Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. And we'll put a paywall behind that, like OnlyFans for this. <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans. No, we're starting the OnlyFans. No, I have to. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the show. Traveling sounds from the Blueberry Lounge. Blueberry Lounge is a mobile media studio, which I live in nomadically full time. The most wonderful RV I call the Blueberry Lounge. Inside of it, I set up a mobile recording studio. I'm here out there. Well, let's tell them what the book's about, Jim. This book contains the code to cracking one of uh, America. Okay, yeah. America's, mo America's <laughs> most tragic <laughs> cases concerning the nefarious actions performed over the course of several years of the serial killer clown <laughs> yeah! by the name of Tussie, who's traveled yeah! the states. And left his calling card and all of them. Oh, yeah! So due to his work in Hollywood, has already oh, been in your living room. Oh, fantastic! Look at this dome, it's looking at me. In the sky, looking at me. In the cloud, looking at me. In the hills, have eyes, and they're all beautiful. Look at me, look at me. And the watches keep looking at me. And watching it, looking at me. Look at me, look at me. And watching it, looking at me. You won't believe it. You won't even understand it. But most of all, won't be able to put it down. You won't. Yeah. That's <laughs> right, Senator Jim. It. And how much was that book again? $666.66. Oh, but you forgot. Free shipping. But free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself for another crazy carnival ride through the laughter and pranks of Hollywood elites with Touchy the Clown. Uh, join Dallas and I as we give shout outs and talk about behind the scenes entertainment of celebrities like Kanye West, Jennifer Lopez, Halle Berry, Clint Eastwood, from a guy that hosts the biggest bash of Coachella, the Neon Carnival. Uh, more stories and experiences with the 12 tribes, Morningstar Ranch, CERN, Spirit Science. Stay tuned, someone finally breaks down the math behind the musical theory of 432. 
Uh, is it satanic math behind the change? Who knows? Listen and find out in part two of the Illuminati OG with Touchy the Clown. There's no magic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, see, I, okay, so watch this. Here's the crossover. These guys are master woodworkers, and they have... Yeah, so that's all wood. Right, right. Yeah, like they that's made, amazing. I was going to give them this thing. I was going to give them this bus. This is, yeah. worth, this is worth like 35 grand. This is... Uh, this was, And it is wood. This is a six... Well, it's fiberglass. Fiberglass wood, though. This is fiberglass. Install inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no, it's all nice inside. Yeah, yeah the woodwork is be, amazing. It needs to be restored. It needs some, you know... We deal. know the way. Oh, we'll oh, bring you home. But the engine's you know what, rebuilt. You know what would be best if eight, you tried eight, 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 tribes. Man. So these people, we know the way. We'll bring you home, baby. So, so yeah. these people are master woodworkers, and the first project we're doing at the park is a wedding deck. So this, uh, this, uh, oh, wow. yeah, the whole book. This Masonic wedding deck here. Huh. Uh, we're going to be building first the wedding deck. That's our first project. Wow. And this, these people have an That's entire woodworking amazing. shop, and they're very talented, and they have all the materials. And because they're we're a five hundred one, see Freemason okay. Park is a five hundred one C three, but they're a five hundred one D. They're a commune. They are literally when you join, you sign over all your worldly possessions, and when you leave, you don't take shit with you. They just inherited a salmon fishery. Uh, yeah, like smart. they just sent forty dudes to Alaska, and we were oh, eating I freaking know. steaks this thick for lunch and a sandwich. You know what I mean? More oh, more yeah. more meat than bread. And you don't so, need anything if you oh, yeah, to that, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. That's how they treat you at the restaurant. Wait till they get you back at freaking the Morning Star Ranch. I'm like, was it Lucifer the Morning Star? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then I see one of these minute? eyeballs on their wall, but I digress. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm looking around. I'm like, Morning Star Ranch. Uh-huh. Oh, fucking eyeball. Okay. All right. I'm out of here. I'm noticing how much black sand they got. I'm like, Are I there see checkerboards everywhere. They don't pay any of their employees. No. Nope. They, they no. but watch this. You work double shifts all the time, and the kids work as young as four or five years See, old. Fuck that. Father Yod, bro. No, listen. I'm telling they, you about and the, the best. And, 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 what they teach but their kids they... how to not be lazy pieces of shit. I wish my daughter had this work ethic. Anyways, she'd be passing oh, all yeah, her classes. Whip so, uh, yeah, at no, least it's not. You don't get whipped. Oh, yeah. They beat the shit out oh, of her. Oh, yeah, you do. They got. They got. They got. Germany, listen to this. You're like, no, I'm not Germany. <laughs> Germany sent CPS in and took all their kids and kicked them out of the country. They Germany did. They fled this is to the Czechoslovakia. Drug. They fled to Czechoslovakia. No, this is the, attention the leaders. Yeah. Attention leaders of the tribe drugs. of Reuben. Uh, if the Germans think you're taking it a little too far. <laughs> You might be taking it a little <laughs> too far. <laughs> How do you know when you're taking, taking it too far? <laughs> yeah, when the, the Germans, Germans are like, oh, yeah, you know, you're taking it too far. I, uh, I, uh, oh my God. I saw like, dude, you need to treat people nicer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, whoa. Well, well, like, German. German. German is the language of discipline. That's why they train yeah. canine dogs hut, in that shit. Yeah, yeah it's Nine. very aggressive. Boost, lots. Very yeah, uh, uh, language, uh, the, yes, I, full, language full dis, has full dis, a culture. Full disclosure: all my German comes from the porn I, I've, uh, my roommate used to watch. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plots, blind. Anyway, Plots, blind. <laughs> <laughs> Scheiße. the only German I know is my sister's husband. He's not listening to this. Well, uh, I do know a beautiful. If you're I this learned... deep into the podcast, congratulations. <laughs> yes, I, congratulations. I haven't to even there. told the can open yet i barely opened it i carry it too it. wow yeah no I'm, but i actually have heard, i opened the I'd can like of to worms yeah. Father father Yo! yeah okay. father Yo. best spiritual fucking cult leader of all times right he fucking hey he, before you get started you want some kool-aid <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my kool-aid's empty i will remove it and, from uh, thank you oh, glad and, uh, drink it's just it. a good habit and uh, so father Yo, he had a vegan restaurant market little thing down in san diego when lsd hit the market Right. Whoa, 50s, like you. 60s, you know. Damn and he fucking used it. He fucking wasn't hooked up with it. And he right. supplied it to all of his people. Okay. And they loved he it. And he right had this folk band. It. He had this folk band. And, and he had a big following. He made enough money. He moved to Hawaii. Well, they all did Anyone that, that wanted to go could come. He had a huge mansion. It was free drugs, fucking music. They had folk music. Everyone was just partying for like five years. And then eventually, he was like, 
I'm going to the next dimension. And yeah, you're all going to watch me. Exactly. It's He's time like, to go. And, and, and you're my, it's like the cult leader thing's weird. It's like, okay, you start to like imagine that you're God. And then you start uh, to create everything that you've ever wanted. So he's sitting around with uh, all the drugs, all, all the, the food, stuff, all everything the women, he's ever all, wanted. Anything he, he can manifest. You can get it. He gets it. So yeah. he assumes his role as God, but instead of being a selfish asshole. That's called apotheosis. And saying, we're all going to fucking drink the Kool-Aid. He just says, watch me. And so he fucking gets in a, a hang glider and he jumps off a cliff and he drops straight to the ground and he dies. Okay. Yeah. In front of all of his people. Good. And well, he went, to, he went oh! to the next dimension. You yeah. know what's funny? He showed him. You know what's funny? I was easy, playing dog. this. I was playing this. See what they have to say I about started him. playing this. I'm not there yet. Wait, though. I started playing <laughs> I'm this. I'm going to follow him. I started. I'm going to do it. He I'm made $10,000 a day. No, 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 it was kept no, no, a secret. No. Hard coming 150 people in Hollywood Hills. Yeah, there we go. He did I, have 14 wives, only three children. Look at this. Only three children. 14 wives and three children? Yeah. Good job, brother. Good job, dude. Just pull out masks. Like pull out dang masks. I'm telling you, it wasn't selfish, bro. He <laughs> it wasn't was not just a selfish leaving person, it in, dude. Yeah, like, he probably so, was like, fuck, I wasn't supposed so, to have any kids. So this is what, this is what I already had really, on YouTube. Nine albums, Savage of Sons of Yohawa. Yeah. Just a bunch of shit. Ooh, baby. On the day he jumped off the hang gliding cliff in front of all of his followers and fucking died on the beach, dude. <laughs> oh my god. And supposedly yes. he looked up at all of them and he said he'd just been making it all up. You know, but like it didn't matter because like he provided for everyone. They she, never had to do any weird shit. There's like no weird shit ever done. It was like, I mean, they were doing drugs, having sex, playing music. You know what? She but it was consensual. No, it was consensual. It was 100, all yeah, nobody 100 was asleep. Asleep. He nobody didn't ask was everybody sleeping. to fucking take the hang no, the Nobody was yeah. asking any He cost. wasn't asking you to jump off a cliff with they him. They weren't serving Cosby Politans. No. Cosby hmm. Politans. Just Cosby Politans. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we got to... St- Okay, trademarks. We should really make a podcast. Coming out. Okay. We should make baby, a podcast. Trademarks are coming out. No, baby. We got hot mics. Hot mics. Hey, what's in this? We got hot mics, baby. It's just some J. I'm a hot fucker. No, but, dude, no. These are. These are. So. Uh, Dude, we got to make a podcast. No, baby. It's just some J. I'm a hot fucker. No, but, dude, no. These are. These are. So. Yeah, when I when I when I want something, I don't think where can I buy it. I think how can I make it. That's that that was one of those pop up tent trailers. <laughs> That's that shit right that there. That t- that tank trailer right there was one of those pop up tent trailers. You know, like okay. with the canvas, from yeah. Coleman and shit. Yeah, yeah, Coleman, the yeah. Little Coleman one yeah. It's a little. It's a Starcraft. That's a Starcraft trailer. Wow. I put the box on it. I skinned it, obviously. Yep. Yeah, she helped with the paint. Man. Essentially, my design. You know. But yeah, I fucking, I programmed the computer, I fucking soldered the fucking circuit board, I fucking, you know I what I mean? I love I did this all, that's, book. that's a handmade piece of American fucking business. You made it, man. Memorabilia. You know you what I mean? You made it, brother. Now fuck that thing's rusty piece of shit. The <laughs> the fucking 90s. Tell you what, this, this, this fucking park I'm making is going to be made out of stone. And until dude, this earth the... gets destroyed, you know what I mean. Park, like man. I'm trying. Looking at it, dude. I'm like... trying, and I and I'm not, and I'm nobody. You know what I mean. I'm nobody special, but You're I'm trying, not, but... dude. But that's just like when I become somebody. You are that odd. Ad- no, when I have the money to like flaunt my fucking. Oh, I can't oh, wait to just. I want to put baby. bronze statues of me playing banjo. Yeah, baby. Around the world. And not necessarily I even in town. I want one in my park. Just on here. gas stations. Here in the mountains. I want one in my park. Up in here. the weirdest. Like, yeah, right my, here. Yeah. Where? Right here. Yeah. This time of day, that white building is now the center of a giant eyeball. Look at it. Boom. Dead center of a giant eyeball. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Uh, you have to wait. Because during the day, like the, the eyelash. Wow. Now look that at is... remember how ha- Remember how he had eyelashes this morning? Look at him. They're gone. Look at look out the window. Uh, remember he had eye. Remember oh, he had. Oh, go Mountain. Look, he's right there at my window. Yep. Remember how he had eyelashes? Where does yeah. eyelashes oh, go? Right. Now they're like put the other. It's just now black. Now he's a man. Up. Yeah. Closed his eyes. Yeah, he closed his eyes. It's fucking sunny out. Or is this man. weird shit or what? <laughs> a minute. Uh, the middle eyelashes. and that and that no, fucking. I know. Now look at that eyeball. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't show you. Look over. Look over <laughs> that. See that shiny metal roof. Yeah, yeah. Look at the hill. Go. Look at the hill right behind it, and you can see the fucking eyeball in that hill right behind. And triangles. Uh, try this shit anywhere else in the world. Well, I've done it. 
I've seen it a lot so in my life. What, I don't know why what, I see it all the time. What causes I'm kind of that? fascinated the fact that you are a fellow triangle and eyeball seer. So I believe in synchronicity. <laughs> I Come believe, and chat. I believe in... <laughs> it's like, that's a weird thing that I didn't think other Have people Have you seen did. the spirit science animation on this? Spirit film? science. If, yes, spirit science. I've you seen the spirit science? Yes, yes. So you're aware of Metatron's cube? Yes. yes. Okay. I I got on the, the podcast Kill Tony because this guy had a 432 tattooed on his face. Okay. That was locked up with me in a jail cell for a okay. weekend. Okay, all right. And he said, I'm best friends with the drummer from Kill Tony, Joel Jimenez, Joel Berg. So fucking, he says, I'll get you on the show. And he was true to his word. He hooked me up. I could show you text messages and shit. But um, fucking. uh, Fuck yeah, man. So the 432, you know what 432 is, It's a megahertz. Yeah, but it's fake. Do you actually know about it? Sorry, but four. Yeah, let's go. Are you familiar with vortex math? Before you say it's fake, let me show you something you probably didn't know about the mathematics. Exactly. It's 440. 443. It's actually 440. Yeah. They have transmuted it. Wait, okay. if you do the wait, math, I would wait, love to see your wait, math. Wait, 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 wait. Vorte- yeah. Vortex math. Are you familiar okay. with vortex math? Well, I'm um, more with megahertz math. Explain. Bad with words. Names. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that then. Better with um, names, but... How it relates to the 432. If you tune a piano nowadays, there's exactly. a note. Do you know about the missing note on a piano? Yes, there is no. a missing on, on note. On an 88-key piano, there They've is a note that them. can only be played by striking two keys simultaneously right. because of the way modern pianos are tuned. Tuned nowadays. Because Before they change the 440-hurt A is an industrial standard that came in in the right. 40s or the right. 30s. Right, yes. <laughs> Before that, A was 432. Huh. What's important about 432 is if you divide it by... Eight, which Eight. is the number of octaves, infinity, right? You end up with thirty-six. Okay. But if you divide four forty, you get thirty-six point six 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 six, and that's why those two wow. piano keys you have to play two at the same time. This is bro, it's, they did it's it, a little, bro. No, but that explains the four forty. But sounds awful satanic to it me. It does all. Watch this. Eight equals so, so, but, but let me hold tell on, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 440 divided, divided by, by seven. Right. What was eight octaves? Seven. Eight. Seven, seven. notes. Eight. Seven notes. Okay. Seven notes, eight octaves. Yeah, seven notes. 36. A, B, C, D, E, F, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T, seven. But that, and, yeah. 36. Okay. Divided by seven. 62.8561429. No, no, no. It His was, calculator's you, broken. Oh, 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 he's not oh, oh, the right numbers. 440 four, oh. divided by We're going to have to seven, rewind this 12. tape. Divided by 12. I forgot They're about the black yeah, keys. Yeah, okay. I forgot about the semitone. You'll always be forgetting about the black keys. I forgot keys, about the black rewind keys. Rewind the tape. No, but, I, but, I did, but I did meet Rihanna while selling okay. me to the Black Eyed Peas. Exactly, <laughs> they know how to do <laughs> it, baby. Six, 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 yes, six, seven. Six, seven. Thank you. Right, but that seven's rounded up because it's continuous six. But, but do it by 432. 432 divided by 12. Right. But ancient the original 36. 36, even. Ancient even. is an 18 octave, though. Indian music comes in an 18, an 18. They have, that's they have a, a total that's Indian spectrum. music, but we're talking about frequencies. But that's Japanese. Frequencies. We're talking about frequencies okay. that have been manipulated. S- yes. Okay. Yes. I like that. Manipulated cool. you, yeah. to make it easier. So I taught that to one of the 12 tribe cult members, right? Oh, wow. Right. So, so he and I took to- it. He goes, he goes, he ran with that, huh? He goes, I have to tell the tribe. And I uh, said, don't mention me yeah. or they won't listen to you. Exactly. And so he can cost it. divided by 12. Three. So he Good could job. Co- well, well, wa- watch Don't this. 12, <laughs> 1 plus 2 is 3. 12, what's half of what's half of 3? 1 and a half. What's 1 plus 5? 6. 6. Dude, that was told to be no math here, dude. Dude. <laughs> only fucking fuck reason I came... No, 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 I was no, 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 no math, okay? Watch, watch. But, but it's such go, but, basic but math, bro, it's like... 
Yeah. So if you oh, don't, but it works. Just have basic it, math. It, it, it yes, it works. <laughs> but look, if I take. Calm down. If I start with three and I double Shout it. Shout out I get, to Afro Man. You better love us, buddy. If I send us some weed. If I if I take three and I move up or down, I end up at six. If I double three, I get a six. But if I cut it in half, I get one point five, which is six. Okay. If I okay. double six. By number game, yeah. If yeah, I yeah. double six. I get 12. twelve. One plus three. two is three. three. If I half six, one, two, I get three. three. And then you right, get one, two, right. three, four, five. And then you yeah, and thirty-six so is the big number. Thirty-six is the big number in numerology. Right. You know, numerology. orange is the only color that numerologically comes out thirty-three. Frequency of the Earth is seven, seven point six two. Yes, but it's seven point six two. Do you know about nineteen point four seven? So we are heaven on are earth. You so familiar? that's why. Are you? Would you boys like to build a fucking pyramid in the middle yes, of the Yes, I have a friend that's building the yeah, dude. I'm, so yes, can we talk you about our pyramids? You should see me walk oh, on I can't water. Wait. <laughs> I've seen you walk on water. I've seen uh, it all, brother. Did you see? Did you see my? Hold on, on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you guys stay here so you can uh, react yeah. and the microphone can hear you. Okay. I'm gonna go outside real quick. Oh wait, I'm gonna leave my shoes in here. I need yeah, to be grounded. Yeah, you don't need those. You guys right? stay in here. I'll make sure you can see my feet. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, the levitation. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. I know this Don't one. Get in there. <laughs> Get back in there. <laughs> I love this one. I only I've only tried it a couple times. It's very difficult. He he thinks it's great, but he does it. No, it's amazing. I got I got him on. Yeah. Video. I, got, <laughs> I got him on video in front of the. You did it. Phone. You walked on water. Oh, that shit, bro. Bro. Yeah, fuck the camera. <laughs> it's this though, right? It's this the the lift of. Oh yeah, of course it is. So yeah. You could do it from this angle, or you could do it from you this angle. You should see me walk on water. Right. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see it, right? It's really good. I'm gonna show the video, bro. Just oh, I, I just blurred it a little bit. You could <laughs> play with it. No, it's super good though. But originally it was the best. I, I saw with my it. eye, it looked legit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to post it, goddamn. Oh, okay, we won't. We won't. All right. I just saw honest. levitation, bro. I just saw levitation in the most fucking desert. And, uh, in front of the Illuminati eyeball. He, said, uh, he pulled some Chris Angel shit. Fucking. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. So, I magicians video, actually video. are very. She has me on video in front of the Scottish Rite Temple in Washington, D.C., like three Doing months the ago. Float? Floating, Doing floating, the floating on their front porch. And, and there's, yeah, there's, two, there's guys. two videos of two guys sitting there next to the fucking Sphinx looking things. And after I floated in the second video, <laughs> he's not there because he fucking went. Boom! <laughs> 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 Yes, dude, my friends are really fucked up. I'm gonna fuck them up next time. Oh, uh, dude. Yep. Oh, you gotta. I'm gonna go I like two remember. feet high with. I can't one believe foot. I, dude. I used to be a carny, I guess. <laughs> uh, because and I know all the tricks. We're dude, traveling dude. carnies. We just haven't I found our goddamn tricks. carnival yet. <laughs> like, why don't I remember doing, learning that one? Learn That's it. fucking a good one. Like, my grandpa. <gasps> he taught me the hidden quarter trick. The hidden quarter trick. The freaking so. The but then I found out trick. it wasn't really my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Morty, I need you to stick this way up there. <laughs> yeah, way up. Way up there, Morty. <laughs> no. Are you sure, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you're a real piece of shit, Morty. Let me show you the. <laughs> let me show you the quarter trick. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a real piece of shit, Morty. <laughs> get, 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 get back to the basement. <laughs> 420. All right, we got to hit the bong. Um, see? God damn it. I don't know nothing. You almost did it to yourself. I've no cough. I've done it to myself. That's any, any other town like his fans? I dumped a whole fucking bottle of like, a cup of water on the, my last computer just because I thought it was cool. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah? 
Oh, you want to destroy AI? No, I was just... You were, like, fucking and... over AI for no, a second? Not, no, 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 I accidentally did it. But okay. I was energetically charged at the moment. So, Elon Musk believes we're in a simulation, because the idea that... No, it's not Elon Musk. Elon Musk is not the only person. He's not the he only person. Fuck it. him. He's not... He believes it, though. Yeah, he believes it. And he's promoting it. It makes sense. Um... So when I, I was like talking about the, e- I, I, I was like talking about, I was theory, talking if about. If you no, go no, down the path, no, no, it's yes. not a simulation. Here's what it is. It's we're, not a simulation. If we're actually in a in a forty two dimensional space, there's an eight dimensional crystal mathematically that appears in our dimension as a quasi crystal of. I could divide it. Two different sizes, and the one. Okay, so yeah. you need a unit. You need a unifying theory that unites <laughs> quantum mechanics with regular physics. And you Humans me. do because. Well, well, but, 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 but we haven't had anything. Well, humans do. Where a where are the aliens? Black at, hole. <laughs> a black hole is where quantum mechanics and regular yes. physics align. Exactly. A black hole is actually yo. What's like going on? A vortex. It's like basically what's what they're trying on? to create with the hydrogen collider type thing, the God particle. Well, that's a whole different cult. I sent it to oh, the God. Well, I know we that. Read them I already sent it to them. You've heard about? You've seen their video? Yes, I've 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 watched about a lot about you guys. Like, yeah, the Very video interesting. That they put out, which is probably just <laughs> propaganda. Who knows, dude? It's super weird. That but they, they have that. Shiva in the front dancing, so that's close, a little. It's close. Uh, it's close to being done, but it's a little. Uh, well, and the town funny. is historically built upon a town that had like a super big cult to invoke a different, a different deity. Deity, I think. Right. Which what, what are we talking about? Bohemian Grove? Uh, no, the the Cajun hydrogen collider. The hydrogen collider. The, oh, sir. Cro- CERN. And the video they put out being all stupid and weird, like yeah, I, I like where bro. They, that really, watch, really that watch, video but... really kind of put them out there in a way that it was like okay. C E R N yeah. Yes. Dots dots dots. Bohemian Grove. Or what do you know about yeah, that? Yeah, that's that shit... where that's where we left at. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's where we were leaving at. Well, so I'm doing the Jeffrey Dahmer shoot. Yes, that's for what Paramount is. for Netflix right now. Wow. At L.A. Circus in Riverside. Okay. Ironically. ironically. And uh, uh, the owner, Chester, who the, the picture I froze earlier, that was his son. Uh, uh, the owner, Chester, um, he's from Bohemian Grove. He's from the, the town up there. In Mendo. Like, there's a town there that the, the, right. the compound Bohemian is Bohemian Grove near. is not something on a map, is it? Okay. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Is it a town that then has this compound closed? Oh, Alex closed Jones. Gate? Alex well, Jones said. Do... Now let's talk about synchronicity. I think. Okay. Um. Sometimes God leaves you breadcrumbs that you're on the right path. So. Adelis Huxley said, "When the doors of perception are cleansed, things will appear as they truly are." <laughs> when he published his book on masculine, he called it the doors of perception. When Jim Morrison took acid about 340 feet from where we're sitting right now in the Mojave Desert out Wait, by Joshua Tree. That's so Tree, funny that you say at that the base of the Jim Mountain, Morrison sign. He decided oh, yeah. that he should name his band The Doors. The Doors. Yes, they were right here in this desert. And they took mescaline. The yes. Doors of Perception. When the doors of perception are cleansed, so then right things will appear here. as they truly are. Every one of those triangle eyeballs that's staring at you right now in this perfect glistening sunset, it is currently observing you in another universe. Those are the watchers that the UFO lore talks about. I can prove it mathematically. Wow. I see the triangles in the stars. I How see about a nice in the clouds. game of chess? <laughs> <laughs> Touchy did it all for the lols. He asked a very specific question, folks. He asked a very specific question. He said, what about regression therapy? Yeah. So, let me please introduce myself. This is my birth certificate abstract for the county of San Bernardino. 
that is uh, that is my um, driver's license. That's when I used to be Mexican. My social security card, and of course my Bank of American card that has my photo on it. But also in this picture is featured my business card. My business card. This is my business card, Miracles on Demand. You'll see the name Stuart, Master Sophrologist. What's a sophrologist? So glad you asked that, sir. Sophrology, <laughs> sophrology is the study of consciousness. It means the balance of the study of the balance of consciousness. Right. Um, it includes everything from psychedelics to psychotropics, visualizations, hypnotherapy. Can you read the very first line, very first word on this business card of mine? Past life. Regression. <laughs> what was I saying about synchronicity, bro? I've been looking for this on the for the longest time. Hole. I've been looking for this for the longest time, bro. And I think the I reason I call it. myself a master sophrologist, <laughs> if you're listening out there in podcast land, is because people don't want to cluck like a chicken, and if you tell them you're a hypnotist, they fucking have some negative connotations. Yes, they have some things like that. There are over 1,500 subjects of mine who I've hypnotized, and the last hypnotic instruction I gave them is to forget that they ever met me <laughs> and to believe that my voice is a voice inside their head. Wow. And That's pretty powerful. Though. that they healed themselves and that they always had the tools to do so. Yes. So that is a gift I've given to the world is there's a whole bunch of people out there that are living extraordinary lives. And people you know by name, their household, that I get to hang out at, you know, craft services, which is what they have on a movie set. You know, they say <laughs> they say craft services or they say television add tens pounds. It's craft fucking services, man. They got every kind of soda and candy bar. Ice yeah. cream. You ever Dessert. just donuts. Wait, what you loaded. want us to make you a roast with fucking mashed potatoes? They, yeah. they, want, they don't want you to leave the set. Because then, you know, if they have to have somebody there for a scene or whatever. Yep. Or, no, I just went to go get some gum. You know what I mean? So they have. Yeah, then you're gone. It's like a, it's like a Costco. Yep. Because <laughs> then you're gone. If you needed that one <laughs> thing, but you would leave. I've sat, I've sat next to Steven sure they Spielberg. Have I've been told oh, wow. dirty like jokes by <laughs> Miss Piggy. I got into an argument with Grover. Gonzo. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I mean, yeah. As Jim Morrison said, this is the strangest life I've ever known. But I was going to show you some, like, some cool pictures. Like, okay, here's... Well, here's a... I'll give you an example. You see this watch? You know what brand... Do you recognize the brand of that watch? No. See the AX at the top? I see the AX. What is that? Are you familiar with Armani, this brand? Armani. It's an Armani exchange. <laughs> Armani exchange. All right. Are you familiar with the Neon Carnival? I'm just laughing about the other thing that I just connected no, I'm the not, dots to. I, I, I don't know the Neon Carnival. At Coachella. At Neon Coachella? Carnival. Yeah, when they do... Um, the music festivals. Yeah, they go to Coachella. I might try to bartend at this. So day. you know what Coachella yeah. is, EDA, right? Or EDC. 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 Pay EDC. attention. EDC. There's money in it for you. You, you, uh. There's a microphone. There's a microphone. I gotta talk loud. In the desert, and yes. Parties are going off everywhere down there for sure. Oh, yeah. And what is this? And our Danielle Robet got a VIP pass to the biggest bash of all, the Neon Carnival. So, hey guys, let's go. The biggest bash of Coachella. Just the Neon Carnival. And who is this recording? California Live. This is about Coachella Valley. California Live is bringing you the Watching exclusive something. inside look. It's a festival season California for the Neon Live. Welcome no to the Neon party. Carnival. Welcome to the Neon Carnival. EDC? You're <laughs> <laughs> wily right now, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 This is you, bro. Um, you're the man behind the carnival. How are you feeling? Yeah. Carnival. I'm pretty excited. It's come together really, really well. So this is my third year at Coachella. And never have I been able to get into me on Carnival. Fuck right no, there. you haven't, you dirty <laughs> bitch. <laughs> they made you leave when you were done recording. We weren't even open yet. We weren't even hoping yet. Yeah, they don't open like 10. Okay, so this is like a party inside Coachella. This is like a party no. inside Coachella. He's filming. You go to Coachella to be entertained. Then they shut it down. 
entertainers. The entertainers come to me to be entertained. Nice. That's what I do. Nice. I entertain entertainers. I talk shit to celebrities for a fucking living. And now that Don Rickles gone, there's a big fucking hole to fill. And yes, touchy, there is, brother. Touchy the Clown is gonna slide right up in that motherfucker. Touchy the Clown. Well, the full name, the full name is Uncle Touchy the Pedophile Serial Killer. Oh my God. He's Murder a, them! He's a serial killer clown, <laughs> but Murder he only kills baby. pedophiles. Yes! Nice. Right? Nice. You got it. It's a story. I'm, got like, it. I'm like an, an anti-hero. Right. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> this is the most exclusive party in Coachella, and I fucking host that shit. Nice. That's yeah. a lot of work for that's a lot of work for an editor. Yeah, <laughs> I've been in Hollywood for exactly 333 uh, months. And so now after this decade plus long experiment, I'm ready to end. I'm going to write my I've been waiting for the proper place to unveil my career Don't suicide go out the fire. note. Career suicide been, Don't go out been, the fire, bro. I, I you're think your you're podcast, fucking on it right I think now. Your podcast like, is the right place to yeah, reveal like, my well, career suicide, suicide note. You're right. on okay, okay, right okay, now. okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Career suicide. Hit it. Dear Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I totally say juice. I totally, I totally stole that from Tosh Point but only because you motherfucker, Daniel, you piece of shit, you stole your fucking bit about the banana from Fresno from me. But what you didn't get was the felony part. And since this joke, like Doug Stanhope's about, uh, you know, nice. uh, 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 helping his mom commit suicide. Uh, oh this joke has, had a statute of limitations that has expired. So, no, the reason the guy got the banana is because I kept offering him his money back. I know what you want. You want your money back. Look, match the 800 bucks you've already given me. I'm going to give you the prize you want and your money back. Look, you already made two out of three balls. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it just it is what it is. I made the guy go to the ATM and made his wife keep me company. Oh, so, I mean, wow. You know, and that really yeah, happened. It fucking happened. Pay and up. I can't believe that you went to another show. You should have stuck with us. But I do appreciate you hiring our water race and doing your little milk nipple thing. That was fun. Milk right. nipple. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think we're even now. I stole that from Daniel Tosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? You know, I have. I, I think we're even now. I, I have. I have a fucking. I have like a problem name dropping. You know. I mean, that's what Kanye West keeps telling me, at least. Oh, <laughs> fucking. He's like one. He's up there. He well, me and Al, me and Kanye have Ow. fucking. Uh, <laughs> Kanye's mad, bro. Kanye and I have beef. He thinks I cheated him. So for the last. Buddy, you don't need to go out. For for. Oh, okay, goes. so. The other one. So I, my clown is a registered. Uh, he is a registered uh, politician. Votes Your win. clown. Oh yeah, uh, Uncle Touchy, the pedophile serial killer clown. So uh, I got these books. Got these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Six dollars and sixty-six cents. Wow. Yeah. Six dollars and sixty-six cents. Is that really on yeah. Amazon? On Amazon. Wow. Yeah. Look. What is it? You're not even fucking around no more. Umbrance is $666.62. Here I am fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and our P.O. box number is 666. So my mom's dad's brother was Walt Disney. Right. Right? <laughs> well, she was adopted by a Scottish Rite Freemason and a Shriner. Huh. Yep. By the name of uh, uh, Ollie Nichols. And Nichols. yeah, and then Walt Where's Disney. He now? Walt Disney, although Walt Ollie's Disney was Demolay Society, but yeah. yeah, he's in Rialto now. Yeah. Although I can't find <laughs> his headstone. Find his headstone. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> very curious. So he another de like a dead, like, yeah. like a like a dead one, you know? Uh, there's some, like, so, so, there's, there's, there's another story there. Okay, but, uh, right. but yeah, so. So you know, if I if uh, if they ever if they ever tried to fuck with me, yeah. I could totally like destroy 
Or at least cost them a lot of money. I mean, they, you know, they got <sighs> bottomless vaults, I'm sure, but especially in these times. They definitely do. You know, They're but stacked as you, up. As, you, as you can see, you know, something like that, not a big deal on a on a Amazon film, but you no. know I use Amazon as my firearm to shoot shells at Leviathan. <laughs> right. Who you rely upon? <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from Nas. Don't get excited. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, Nas, bro. Uh, Shut up. Oh. Nas was uh, like, yo, yo, yo. Oh, uh, that sounds like that new Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> hit my leg before it hit. The- but yeah, you can see I masked them up. We do that. So this is this is what I this is what I do is I I've been running amok in Hollywood doing whatever I want Dude. because everybody's so trained and they're like union. It's like communism. It's like you don't do other people's jobs for them, and they assume if you're doing something, you're supposed to be in your professional. Right. I'm a fucking carny. Right. Man, I slept under rides, covered in I grease, and fucking, you know, up for fucking months and jo- you know what I mean? I right. just, I, I lived the life and, and I earned it, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah, know things. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm the guy whose job it is to make you fall in love with me in three seconds and then yes. sell you a $2 sell stuffed $2 animal for, for 40 bucks. Or 20 And then like, you whatever. walk away after shaking my hand with a and huge smile you on your face because you know you're going to get your dick sucked that night. Yes. That's my job. <laughs> You know I could take you all the way to the, yes, eight, the eighty dollar bear, but I'm gonna yes. let you off easy. You don't want that. That you're not. You're not that kind of girl. You didn't need all that gaudy stuff. We'll let her. On, we'll let him off. They'll use you at forty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, right here, guys. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Even if you miss, I'll just give it to you. It's not my stuff. I don't care. Come on in. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you these first two, but I can't buy them all for you. I work at the carnival. No bubbles. Like the water race. <laughs> oh, there's no bubbles? Dude. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I was wishing there were bubbles somewhere. Um, yeah. So it's been a... I it's, just cleaned the floor. I don't It's need been to. an interesting <laughs> existence, to say the least. Um, okay. I mean, who gets to say Clint Eastwood pointed a squirt gun at him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it looked kind of moist. It looked kind of moist. Okay, the guy that owns the carnival. I'm writing an auto. I'm writing a biography about him, from my perspective. So maybe it is a Gonzo autobiography. But anyways, it's called Hey Harry. When it comes Gonzo. out, I want you to see. This is the cover of his 1976 wow. high school yearbook. It's amazing. And I want to show you who he is. He is this gentleman right here by the With name of out. Raymond Lee. <laughs> Now wait, now wait, now wait. <laughs> Who's he looking at, though? Jimmy? Who is that? Michael Jackson. It's Miss Michael Jackson. Oh, shit. Yo, who is he looking at, though? Scroll down. Well, you know, well it's a 76. They made a collage. They oh, collaged he's... it. Oh, okay. Yep. But th- so this guy was Michael best Jackson, friends with Danny baby. Bonaducci when he was growing up. And so this is Danny Bonaducci, the first Hollywood fucking, you know, the first childhood star. Yeah. Right? The biggest fuck up. The like, van. In the van, right? The Partridge, the Partridge family, family Partridge bus. Family. Like the yep. fucking 12 tribes that again. That was, yep. Yeah. That was exactly Come on, get happy. happy. So fucking. <laughs> yeah. So now. this yeah, is. So, so this guy. We are, baby. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. There's a story about him and his girl and Danny and Danny used to date her and I I'm saving that for the book because it's fucking. All right, that's an exclusive. And I'm not publishing the book that's until a... after he passes away. You guys gotta follow up on so, that one. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm not I'm not releasing that information until after until he you passes die. away because it's right. it's some yeah. crazy shit. Yeah, I got some, some I got some of that shit. stuff in mind. Check out the <laughs> check out the eyeball in the shell right now. Look at the shadows. Yeah, they're doing their they're doing their hard V's. Hard V's, big eyes. Wow. Working together. You're, you're, you you can't heart. see it. It's on that side of the dome. Working yeah. together. Yeah. 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 I get my heart. See the, Can we see the, see the, the bell-shaped pyramid in the center of the hill and its eyeball? Kind of looks like Roger or an alien. I'm telling you. <laughs> Roger. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It kind of looks like a fucking like, alien. Or like, yeah, it's got like a, a, a domey head. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely could be a big, like, fuck, yeah. Definitely. So, check this out. This is the backyard mm. at, at Raymond's house. Right. This horse right here, that's Kelso, number yeah. eight. Okay. When we 
run the merry-go-round, the carousel, mm -hmm. which is the key to the midway, for those that don't know. All right, let's go there. Uh, does your yuzu physique design? All Anyways, right. for uh, those of you that don't know, number eight here, Mr. Kelso, is an adult horse. All right. You only can put one adult horse on the end of the chevrons and, and, the, and the, the right the in the carousel, because it's, right? Because it's heavier and it's gonna, instead of lifting two kids, it doesn't kids, go up down. So you or lose does. half of your seats whenever you put one of these up because normally you could put two horses for the kids next to each other. Right. So, but so you, you have make your, more money. You have a way of configuring it, and there's a bench, you know. So you got these horses. Okay. Now notice it's wrapped in saran wrap. That will come in very important in just a second. See where you think I'm going with this. <laughs> oh, hi. I think I can call this fair use since I made the motherfucking video. Oh, baby. Boom. I think we found our we weren't there. I wasn't there, but we made it. I, I didn't company. make this video as much as I barred acted right at the ranch. The company right here. Well, we've been searching far and wide. Nationwide. My whole life. Oh, hi. 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 You see this uh, horse she's sitting on right here? All right. That's number eight. Number His eight. name is Kelso. <laughs> yeah, baby. Number eight's the best, too. If you go on offer up right now for ten dollars, I'll let you sniff under the saran wrap for three seconds. <laughs> yes. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> you got real on your ass. What's up, baby? Uh, they get a hundred dollars per copy of Umbrance, but you're not getting any of the clicks on my on my on my fucking offer up. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Play it. I gotta, I gotta get another full whip of Kelso's bro. ass. <laughs> bro, just full send it, bro. Full send it. Ten dollars, three seconds. Oh, oh, so J Lo's nice. crack. Oh, yeah. You can smell it right now. I posted that shit in the feed, and the next time I went to the yard, oh they had cut all the saran wrap open on top. <laughs> I was like, no, bastards! They ruined my hustle. <laughs> I can't believe that. I know. That's why they Is call that it really a thing. They like, call that. They, that's why they call it incredible. All right. It's incredible. not incredible. She's not joking. It's incredible. She's not it's joking. Not believable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Keep going. Keep going. Going. I got lost in that. <laughs> I got lost in the sauce. That's a lot of work for it. That's a lot of work for an editor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a lot of work happening for He's this. He's like, editor. I wasn't even there for that part. Hey, editor, I love you. So when I started listening to the, when I started listening to the podcast, it starts jumping around, and then I remember him talking about the ley lines. Oh, the ley lines. The ley lines. Oh, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm trying, bro. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my I'm doing my best. Every day, boss. I don't know what else I need to I do. I try. Trying. But it gets away from me. So. Yeah, it does. I wake up early. I'm back alive now. I take my vitamins. I take my vitamins. I drink my vodka and my cranberry. I have my occasional rump. <laughs> I love you and I respect everything that you do, bro. So Holy there was shit. the time, there was the time I was uh, I was chilling with Holly Berry, right? And I have these monkeys, right? And the monkeys have Velcro hands, and so the monkeys had these Velcro hands. We were on the set of Extant, and as, as you know, I set up the stuffed animals. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this one's this one's safe for work. A safe place. It, this is a G-rated show with guests up to PG-13. Mm -hmm. But but uh, what happened is I have these monkeys. They, they look like a shag carpet exterior, upholstery kind of skin. And it's a monkey, and he's about 14 inches from, from head to toe. And he's got a tail <laughs> and Velcro hands. <laughs> and what you do is, no, is wait, you, Velcro, wait, 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 much like you Velcro his hands together like this. And you pull his tail yep. through, and it looks like he's holding his dick. Dick, 
right. So I've got about 80 of those hanging oh on the wall. Oh, my God. And I have a picture of Holly Berry standing in front of right him. Right in front her, of him? With her mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, baby. <laughs> yes. Uh, How do we destroy this? This system? is the strangest life I've ever known. I don't know. What time are we going to start? Am I Tim Morrison? Uh, no. No. No, you're, you Tim, you're Tim Morrison. <laughs> Tim Morrison. Yeah, Jim, my cup. Jim, Jim's drunk brother. Really? Yeah. Oh. He's like, I've been wondering who I am. I jumped in this bus with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been traveling for weeks. For weeks, bro. I'm great. The first night, he was really honest, though. He said, I'm not going to lie to you. There never was any candy, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 you get, it keeps getting more interesting by the minute. Okay. Think so? Yeah. I'll definitely have to wait to tell the story that explains this one, then. Yeah, I would love to hear it. Well, you know what Sasquatch is about? No, I haven't heard of this Sasquatch yet. So it's called Sasquatch. This guy's an investigative journalist, Gonzo. Um, Not. Pretended to be a skinhead so he could infiltrate the fucking Nazis and, like, you know, do a report. Well, so he heard about these murders up in... Um, up in the Emerald Triangle, some guy, when he was living there in his 20s, he was a trimigrant, right? So he's up there. And this dude comes into the, um, this dude comes into the thing, and he's like, man, there's fucking bodies, man. And they, they tore him apart, man. They tore him to pieces. Fucking Bigfoot tore this guy. They're, all three of them, they're fucking dead, man. No, they're dead. Fucking, they're fucking Bigfoot did. Anyways, he does that expose on the on the uh, on the Nazis, and so he's trying to like redo Hunter Thompson to a degree. Like he's like running with the Hell's Angels. So he gets up there to uh, Humboldt, Mendocino. He's hanging out, starts asking about uh, these murders back at this time frame, and three Mexicans dead on a ranch, a pot grow, you know. And the Hell's Angels, like, why are you asking about those murders? Right. You know, it's like... Right, but it's not. Mm. So what it comes down to is, uh... There's a Hell's Angel ranch up there. And it's a weed grow. And the guy who owns it, his name's Bigfoot. And he's thinking back to 20 years ago when he was 23, sitting on the living room floor, and he's like... Now, you know, a memory is a weird thing, but I don't remember. Did he say that a Bigfoot killed him or that Bigfoot killed him? <laughs> and they were talking about, like, running the guy over with a forklift. Oh, that, damn. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, stage, what they did is they said that they had um, Mexicans they'd bring up to trim. And the more people that leave the ranch, the more likely you're going to get caught, Right. Right. right, the more traffic or whatever. So yeah, do you fucking stay for the whole you season? Would, you would tell these the trimigrants. Yeah, yeah, stay. Yeah, you would tell them, look, there's a fucking there's a goddamn Bigfoot out there, and it's you know it's fucking killing people. Look, and then they'd stay on the farms, and you wouldn't get busted. That's the theory. Oh, okay, there are there many theories? But, yeah, it's a three part documentary on um, on Hulu right now. Okay, cool. Called Sasquatch. And, and it's if you were grow, if you were up there for any of that, then I used to work on Sasquatch on Bigfoot Road. It was the road. This out was in off Humboldt. of like this was off of like Spy something road. Well, the the road was it's it's just two fifty seven or something, but I, it just is a forest road. Well, I don't know what road they were on, but the road with the most big fight sightings or whatever. Right. Everything's out there. Everything's out there. Everything's out there. Wow, that's a lot of work for an editor. <laughs> uh, thanks for getting through part two. 
We're about halfway through the crazy eight-hour interview. Please stay tuned for part three. Also, if you haven't yet joined the Blueberry team on Patreon.com, please check out the link and head over there. For $2 a month, you can get behind-the-scenes clips and videos from all of our recordings. There is a lot of NSFW and Too Funny to give away for free. That 2 bucks a month doesn't seem like that much, but it'll help the Blueberry Lounge continue down this path of self-exploration and bringing to you all the gifts from the road. This is Nomad Damon, Blueberry Lounge. Have a good day. But, so wait, so when you make your cactus, though, how do you chop it? I never make any illegal Oh, drugs. okay, never mind. The, uh, earth, the earth makes the cactus. I just, I just drink it. it after it accidentally falls into a pot for 35 minutes at no more than 180 degrees. Don't go over 180. <laughs> Fahrenheit, yeah. You got it. 30 minutes. Martin had it pretty bad. He was born a poor black child. She didn't know that, did you? See, this is kind of what I would like to do right here. It's like, tell jokes with the band, you know? Have you ever seen this? I don't know if I have, actually. I hope you enjoy this.